welcome everybody i have another layout today for auntie vera scrap and craft the photo i'm documenting is of our trip to genovan caves and the story behind it is my frozen bottom so as you can see i picked my photo and then i went and picked my papers the papers are from authentic they're our core products for the month of july and the first one i picked was uh, the solitude one and then i picked this gorgeous solitude two paper I really had no idea how I was going to do this layout. I didn't have a style. I didn't have, I really, as per usual, I had no plan. I just go with the flow. And all I knew was that I wanted to document the story about how my bottom became so cold. It took us, and no exaggeration, about three hours to defrost. Uh, my husband actually wanted to take a photo of my blue bottom, which Luckily for you guys, there's no evidence of that anywhere. I made sure of it. Oops, off on a tangent, time to get back to the layout. So as you saw, I cut a circle and put that aside and I had to start working on my mat. There was nothing in my scraps or in my stash to, for me to mat my photo in the color that I wanted, so I made my own. I got a piece of red cardstock, got out my Distress Oxides and no rhyme or reason for how I use my Distress Oxides. I was just trying to pull out the colours that were in my jumper. My jumper is sort of, um, you can't really see in the photo, but it's like a checkery maroni and it's got all these little specks on it, which really matched my Solitude 1 paper. That's why I picked it. So the, pa the Distress Oxides I used were Walnut Stain, Fired Brick and Aged Mahogany. I'm also using a stencil from Kaisercraft. It's called Terrazzo, and this is one of my chosen core products for the month of July. So as you can see, all I'm doing is just layering and doing different, I just put layer upon layer of colors till I was satisfied with the outcome and I ran the stencil over it with just a baby wipe and it just really, really worked. I also ran my the, that matte paper through my cuddle bag with an embossing folder that had all these gorgeous polka dots on it. And then of course, I'm using my chosen core product for the month of July. It's this gorgeous, gorgeous glimmer paste from Nuvo and I'm in love with it. Uh, it's all, I've used half of this bottle or jar, whatever you want to call it. And all I'm doing is using my finger and just swiping it all around all four sides and it just added the texture and made everything glimmer and I love it, love it, love it. So I did add another second match. That second piece of paper is the Solitude 2 paper. It's the reverse side from, from that paper that you see there that I cut in a circle. For the month of July, I had picked this gorgeous decorative die. It's from Kaisercraft and it is called Two Birds Branch and I love it. I just went to my cuddle bug and I just cut out a whole lot of them. And that was the reason for the circle. As soon as I saw the die, I knew I wanted it sort of going around in a circle, but I didn't really know how I was going to achieve it. The colour, of course, was wrong, but I didn't mind that. I took out my Colour Blast Shimmer Cubes, and the colour I am using there is Fire Engine, and then I go over it with the colour Lever. I absolutely love how this turned out. So I just put it aside, and I went and I worked on all the others. I've just left them all there to dry, and I'm going to stick down my circle because I do know that I'm going to be using all those lovely little branches all around it. I will leave a link to Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft in the description box. And just remember, all my core, all core products are on sale. I love my branches, but I decided they needed a little bit more work. I'm a little bit pedantic with how I wanted them to look. So I got out my Prima waxes, and the ones I'm using on the leaves, on the branches I should say, are... Prima Antique Brilliance Wax uh, in the colour Lucky Emerald and I also use the Prima Metallic Wax in Bronze Age. I'm just rubbing it on. The Bronze Age I did it more along the branches and it's got some little leaves on there and I used more of the Lucky Emerald on them. I love the end result. I admit it was time consuming but for me Scrapping is my relaxation, it's my downtime, so I really don't care how long things take me as long as I'm happy with the end result. So I do take the time to carefully glue my branches down and what I was trying to do is just manipulate them so that you can't see any of the edge of the circle. 
Does that make sense? So it all just looks like they're just going around in this gorgeous little circle. Love it, love it, love it. That's the end result and I'm really happy with it. So I do adhere everything down and I did trim my paper down and added a sort of tealy blue cardstock behind it just to tie in with everything else. And now I'm just using some of the dies from the Authentique uh, perforated dies that I got out. So there's a little one that says chilly because my hands were frozen and I love this one. It says cold hands, warm hearts, but it was not my hands that froze. It was my bottom and that's something that I'll never live down because everybody knows about you know how my bottom froze and turned blue and it took us hours and hours I'd had a hot shower I had had laid in bed with the electric blanket on and it just would not warm up so I'm working on my title frozen ass and I tried to use the Nuvo glimmer paste but it didn't work so I got out my Nuvo mousse and it's sort of like a tealy color and this actually worked a lot better and it does have flecks of the glimmer paste that was still on it so you do see some of that sparkle i then that saw i should say from the corner of my eye i saw the kaiser craft wandering ivy which is also my chosen core products and i loved the flowers so i thought yes the petals all fell down and i picked them up and put them down the bottom of my layout so what I did out, I got out my stamping platform, stamped a whole lot of them and then used my Distress inks to colour them in. I didn't show that on the video because I'm not very good at colouring in so everyone can work that out. And that was my layout. So I hope you enjoyed that. Till next time, take care everybody. Oh, I would love it if you subscribe to my little channel so please hit that subscribe button. And till next time, bye everyone.